Okay, now I've got this button box set up for some controls in a DCS world and I've got the F80 in here just by way of example. I've just some done some brief brief programming of it to show how it can work. So the four rotaries in the center are being used to control the brightness of the MFCDs. So we'll start off with the first one and we look at the hood. We can see by turning this up or down we can switch on and off our hood. Next one left MFCD brightness right MFCD brightness and the moving map display brightness. So the benefit of having these set up in that way is I can leave these adjusted as I like them for a particular mission if I'm rerunning the mission and I don't have to reset them any time. And also they're just to hand away if I want to adjust the brightness and I do adjust the brightness of the hood quite often I have to say. I sometimes drown the hood out almost completely so I have a clear view ahead of me. So the next thing I want to look at is the, the encoders and if I just zoom in to one the left MFCD there you can see how these encoders work so I'll look at the right hand side one here first and that's the course knob and we can see by rotating that you can see the needle rotating now if I want to do it more quickly than that I have a toggle switch and I can toggle that left to right as it would be in the in the cockpit and that holds the switch down. So I can do a course adjustment using this button here, should I need to, or we can thumb it in the number into the um, into the main console there, the ICP, or we can make a fine adjustment here. And on the left hand side one, we've got. The heading adjustment, and if I adjust it left and right, we can see the heading bug moving left and right. And similarly, we've got this secondary button, which will adjust it more quickly. Now, I also have a push button on here, and I don't have it wired up. But what I'm thinking of doing is wiring that up so that that will allow uh, the fast movement of these to well of the heading switch in this case and the course switch in the other case a fast movement of it in one direction so that the, the, the single encoder will be used to create the course adjustment and the fine adjustment. Rest of the buttons are just by way of example um, set up for various things. I have um, we just go down into the pit I have this one is set up for the canopy uh, canopy open and toggle it down to close the canopy this one here is set up for the hook up or down the right one will toggle the battery switch and the two in the center we've talked about the left one here toggle the launch bar. Unfortunately the launch bar doesn't have separate callbacks for on and off so um, I can switch it that way by toggling. And I don't have the next row mapped and the bottom row I've got that mapped for uh, engine start so it's APU um, crank left crank right and um, rudder trim control and flight control reset and then finally this one is to switch on the pilot on or off. Now that's just by way of an example like I said that there's a number of options you can use there or I can use there and um, that's just uh, a starting example.